Let's take a look at the order of operations. This asks us to evaluate 2 squared times the quantity 3 squared plus 26. So when you have a problem that asks you to evaluate more than just one term, right? when you have a longer expression like this, you need to keep in mind your order of operations. Now we do have a nice acronym to help us remember, which is GEMDAS. Okay, and GEMDAS is an acronym, meaning each letter stands for something. G stands for the grouping symbols. Okay, so your grouping symbols could be parentheses, brackets, curly braces, Okay, so first you're going to do whatever you have inside grouping symbols. Next, you're going to do your exponents. Now, M and D actually go together. Multiplication and division are the same level. So if you have any multiplication or division, you would do that next. Now, if you have both, sometimes you'll have multiplication and division in the same problem. Then you would go left to right. So you would do the multiplication or division part that's further to the left first, and then you would work your way to the right. Okay, and then finally, the last thing you're going to do is any addition or subtraction. Okay, and addition and subtraction are also the same level. So if you have both, you're going to work your way from left to right. All right, so when I look at this problem and I'm thinking GEMDAS, Notice I have a grouping symbol, right? I have this parenthesis. So the first thing I'm going to do is what's inside the parenthesis. Okay, so let's, let's rewrite this here a little bit so I have a little room to work. I've got 2 squared times. Now inside my parenthesis, I've got 3 squared plus 26. So notice even inside the parenthesis, I have to think about order of operations. Would I do the exponent or the addition first? Well, we know from GEMDAS, the exponent is going to be first. Okay, so 3 squared is 3 times 3, or 9. So that's going to become 9 plus 26. Okay, now I still have something to do inside my grouping symbol. So I'm going to leave this 2 squared alone, 2 squared times, and I'm going to finish up what's inside my grouping symbol. Okay, now notice normally addition or subtraction would be last. We're doing it first because it's in the grouping symbol. So we're still on that G of GEMDAS for grouping. Okay, and when I say 9 plus 26, that's going to give me 35. Okay, so now I have 2 squared times 35. So I have an exponent and I have multiplication. Well, the exponent is going to happen next, right? I'm moving on to the E of GEMDAS for exponent. Okay, well, 2 squared means 2 times 2 or 4. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 times 35, right? And I don't need those parentheses anymore since there's nothing being grouped. It's just one number. And now the only thing I have left to do is my multiplication. And I'm going to multiply what is 35 times 4. And that's going to multiply out to give me 140. And now that I'm down to a single number, that would be my answer, right? When you see evaluate, that means work it out to get a number answer. All right, so this time I want to evaluate 4 to the fourth power times the quantity 6 cubed plus 56. So just like in the last problem, I'm thinking GEMDAS. First, I'm going to do grouping symbols, then any exponents, then any multiplication or division, and then finally, any addition or subtraction. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to start with my parentheses because that is my grouping symbol. So before I move on to anything else in the problem, I'm going to start by doing what's inside the parentheses. Okay, now even inside the parentheses, I have to think about my order of operations because I have an exponent and I have addition. So GEMDAS tells me the exponent would happen first. 
Okay, well, 6 to the third power means 6 times 6 times 6, right? 6 multiplied out 3 times. So that's going to give me 216, right? 6 times 6 is 36, times 6 again gives me 216, and then I still need to add 56 to that. Okay, I'm still on the G step of GEMDAS because there's still something left I can do inside that grouping symbol. So here, I'm going to say, okay, well, let me add what's inside the grouping symbol next. So 4 to the 4th power times, okay, 216 plus 56. And that's going to give me 272. Okay, and now notice there's only one number inside the parentheses. Okay, so now it's really the same thing as saying 4 to the 4th times 272. Okay, so I have an exponent and I have multiplication. GEMDAS tells me the exponent would happen next. So 4 to the 4th power, or 4 multiplied out 4 times. Well, 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 again is 64, times 4 again gives me 256. So 4 to the 4th power, 256. And then I still have to multiply that by 272. Okay, so you can tell I'm going to get a really big answer here because I'm working with some big numbers that I'm multiplying. So 256 times 272, and that gives me 69,632. Okay, we're going to evaluate 3 to the third power times 4 squared plus 90. All right, well, every time I see multiple steps, I'm thinking GEMDAS, right? Grouping, then exponent, then multiplication or division, and then finally any addition or subtraction. Okay, so I'm going to start with my grouping symbols, which in this case are my parentheses. Okay, so we're going to have 3 to the third power times... Now, inside that parenthesis, I'm going to do the exponent before I add, right? Exponents comes before addition. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, or 16. And then I still have to add 90 to that. Okay, I still have a grouping symbol, so I'm still going to do what's inside my grouping symbol next. Okay, well, 90 plus 16 is 106. And now I don't need the grouping symbol around that anymore because I'm down to just a single number. Okay, now I have an exponent and I have multiplication. Well, my exponent is going to happen first. 3 to the third power, or 3 times 3 times 3, well, that's going to give me 27. And then I still need to multiply by 106. Okay, and then my final step is to do that multiplication, 27 times 106, and that's going to give me 2,862. Okay, this time we have 4 to the 3rd power times 5 times the quantity, 5 to the 3rd power plus 73. Okay, and it is helpful to always write GEMDAS on your page when you're working on order of operations because then you have it to look at and it's really a nice little reminder to think about what to do next. Okay, so I'm going to start with my grouping symbols. Okay, so I'm going to leave this 4 third alone for just a minute. And inside my grouping symbols, I'm going to do the exponent even before I add. So I'm going to start by saying, well, what is 5 to the third power, or 5 times 5 times 5? And that's going to give me 125. Okay, and then I still need to add 
73 to that. Okay, well, I'm still on my grouping step. Next, I'm going to add the two numbers that are inside my parentheses. 125 plus 73, that gives me 198. Okay, and I don't need grouping anymore since I'm down to just one number, right? This is times the whole thing, so times 198. Now I have an exponent and multiplication. So the exponent is going to happen next. Okay, well, 4 to the third power, or 4 times 4 times 4, that gives me 64. And then my final step is to multiply this out, 64 times 198. Okay, and that's going to give me 12,672. Okay, this time we have 4 to the third power divided by the quantity 3 plus 5. Okay, so gemdas, we're going to do our grouping, then our exponent then any multiplication or division, and then finally, any addition or subtraction. Okay, so notice when I recopy it, I always write the whole problem out from left to right, but I just work on the one little piece that I'm working on. So here, I'm going to write out 4 to the third power divided by, even though I'm not doing that part yet. The first thing I'm going to do is what's inside my grouping symbols. So I'm going to add 3 plus 5. Okay, well, 3 plus 5 gives me 8. So I'm going to have 4 to the third power divided by 8. Okay, now I have an exponent and I have division. So the exponent is going to happen next. 4 to the third power, or 4 times 4 times 4, that gives me 64. Okay, so I have 64 divided by 8. And now I can divide. 64 divided by 8 is 8. Okay, we have a very similar problem here, right? So we're thinking gem dos to really pay attention to our order. Okay, and what would I do first? Well, I would start with the parentheses. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, what is 6 plus 2? Now notice I'm rewriting the whole problem. So I'm going to say 4 squared divided by, and just leave that part alone for a minute. 6 plus 2 gives me 8. Okay, now I have to keep in mind the exponent would happen before the division. So 4 squared, or 4 times 4, is 16. So this is going to give me 16 divided by 8, or 2. 